here today in Chehalis. It's about 15 miles off of I-5. And we have about 20 volunteers here, all the way from Lacey, Washington, to Portland, Oregon, here to unchain Spike and Bella, two wonderful dogs. These two are the lucky ones. They are the first on our list. Spike has been on a chain for seven years of his life. Both of the dogs, Bella and Spike, had just very little shelter um, and protection from the elements. So as soon as we discovered that, within 24 hours, we had our doghouse deliver come out and uh, install two dog houses. Thankfully, uh, their family has loved them and they applied for a fence. Um, through some exposure that Fences for Fido recently received in Lewis County, we have more than 73 dogs waiting for fences. What we have found in our eight years uh, since our existence is some of the more desperate situations that we have seen since the very beginning of Fences for Fido. And that's in large part because this area has been untapped. Many of these dogs are chained 24 hours a day and don't know life at all beyond a six foot chain. That's their world. And Spike is one of those dogs. And we're very excited for his moment of freedom. Fences for Fido is just grateful to here to be a resource for families and for their dogs. Thank you.